In the heart of Gwizin's top translational research for clinical problems is carried out at the world-famous destination of Davos. The AO Research Institute Davos is a main pillar of the AO Foundation and receives global recognition. The AO Foundation is a medically guided non-profit organization led by an international group of surgeons specialized in the treatment of trauma and disorders of the musculoskeletal system. The AO Research Institute Davos is specialized in research and development into treatment of bone fractures as well as deformities of the musculoskeletal system and has been active in this field since it was founded in 1959. At that time, people were, when they had a trauma fracture, they were either put into cast or they were put into traction in hospital, which meant they were out of work, either for a long time or for the rest of their lives. This was unacceptable for the future of Switzerland, and these founders basically came with the internal fixation that would get the patients back to work again, and their whole motto was, life is movement. And this was the beginning of AO, which is now known from Davos all over the world. And every company in the world uses the ideas that were invented from Davos. The objective of all research work at the AO Research Institute Davos is to treat defined medical problems quickly, in order to develop practice-oriented surgical solutions. Really important areas include infection, which many people can get, and this can be a very nasty complication and expensive for the insurance systems. Osteoporosis, which older people get, this is also a big problem and we do a lot of research into this to hold our metal implants into this very, very weak bone. And also the implant design, that it works very well to help the healing. Very important issues. Ladina Fliri is project leader in the Biomedical Services Programme at the AO Research Institute Davos. She carries out research into bone fractures for older patients, who often suffer from osteoporosis. Implants used in the treatment of bone fractures often have very little hold within bone weakened by this medical condition. This is why we are currently researching a method where a small amount of bone cement is injected around the implant. This increases the load transmission area and in this way we hope to achieve better anchorage of the implant and reduced risks for the patient with regard to complications and secondary operations. In medical practice, surgeons often rely on their instinct as to whether bone cement should be used or not. In order to make this decision easier, Markus Windolf's team in the Biomedical Services Programme at the AO Research Institute Davos have developed a physical, easy-to-use measuring device, which surgeons can use to measure bone density during an operation. The surgeon introduces the blade into the bone and rotates it in the position where the implant will later be inserted. This determines the bone density, and the measured value can be used as basis for the decision whether or not bone cement should be used. Anne Sermon is a trauma surgeon at the University Hospital Leuven, Belgium. As a specialist for hip fractures, a condition generally suffered by older patients, she is confronted daily with the problem of osteoporosis. I have the opportunity to work as a research fellow here in the AO. Here I'm involved in a project on the development and the biomechanical testing of uh, new fixation techniques in osteoporotic bones as well. So this uh, fellowship gives me the unique opportunity to combine my clinical work to experimental research. The AO Research Institute in Davos is also a member of the Academia Retica which unites several highly qualified scientific institutes and clinics in southeastern Switzerland. Objective of the Academia Retica and its member institutions is to support university leavers in their further career development, as well as to promote cooperation between the member institutes.